Hello, this is Baal Kadmon, and I would like to thank you for watching and or listening to this podcast. This is my year in review, 2018, and what a year it has been. 2018 was not a good year for many people. I've observed this on Facebook and other social media, and 2018 could not end fast enough. <laughs> Perhaps it was in the stars. For me, personally, 2018 went by pretty slowly. I mean, I had great moments, I have to say. I really did. But it went by pretty slowly for me. Although the months were rushing by. I'm sure you understand what I mean. This year was a year of friendship for me. I opened up my life to several people, and they've become what I perceive to be lifelong friends. I never thought I would meet people from Facebook, but I did, and it has been an amazing experience. Just wonderful people, I have to say. And you all know who you are. I'm not going to mention names. I've also made friends online. Although we have not yet met, we have really connected and we have a wonderful friendship and I'm really thankful for that and I relish every minute of it. Thank you. This year I released some pretty powerful texts. First of all was the book uh, Baal, the Lord of the Heavens. This one was a labor of love and not because I resonate with the name but because I feel truly that I set the record straight on him. I feel that Baal was always misunderstood. In addition, the rituals in that book are very powerful, especially the weather-related ones. The next book was Pazuzu Rising, another book that I'm really proud of because it explains who Pazuzu is and the fact that he has been misrepresented in pop culture. Uh, in the movie The Exorcist, he is this horrible child-torturing demon, but in fact, he is far from that. In the summer, I released Tiamat Unveiled, another text close to my heart. I have received many emails from people stating how this book has changed their magical practice. For that, I'm very grateful. I released the course Meditation Made Accessible. I am most proud of this course. This flew off the shelves, so to speak, and I feel the reason for that is I break down meditation in a way that makes it accessible to all, thus the name Meditation Made Accessible. Over a hundred people have enrolled already. I didn't even expect that. You know, thank you. And I, I'm really grateful for all the great feedback that I've received. I've released Belial, A History. This was a bit different from my other books in the sense that there were no rituals in it. And the reason for that is that I have not worked extensively with Belial, and so I did not add rituals to it. I do not write about anything that I do not have experience with. I just feel that it is disingenuous to do so. But what I did do in this book is I added a lot of history from the ancient texts in their original language and many people have emailed me said, wow, you know, this is really great. I didn't know that Belial had such a long history because so many people just know Belial from occult texts, but, it's, but he, he dates way, way back into ancient times. And finally, my book, Malkitzedek Unmasked, this was a wonderful text to write. I feel as if this character is definitely a mystery. And unfortunately, my book didn't really clarify who he was. It just added to the mystery. But what I did do was present the different traditions that exist around Malkitzedek. And I quoted sources directly from the Dead Sea Scrolls and other texts in their original language as necessary. Aside from that, uh, there were a few interesting events. A certain group, uh, who shall remain nameless, blacklisted me for no apparent reason. And they went on to like wanting, they wanted to curse me and things like that. I don't even know these people. I've had nothing to do with them. I have no idea why they would do this, but I'm happy to say that that curse did reverse and is slowly reversing on them and slowly wearing away, which I don't like to see, but unfortunately they brought it on to themselves. And then I had an author, uh, pretty prominent, uh, badmouth me for, again, no apparent reason, looking for a fight. And you know what? I didn't even engage. Actually, if anything, I 
uh, killed them with kindness, and then they slinked away. Um, I'm not sure why people want to do that. I, I know that in the occult there's a lot of ego, uh, and it just it, it, it's really horrible. There's no reason for it. Uh, everyone seems to be in competition with everyone else, and I'm not. I've never been in competition with any other author. I write because I love to. I want to communicate information, and it's a labor of love for me. I don't care if this thing goes, any of my books go to number one or number 10 or number 100. Sure, I mean, obviously, it's nice to see a book on a bestseller, of course, but that's not my intention. But it appears these other authors, they want that. So they have to, you know, badmouth other authors to get there. That is not my intention. I have always wanted to provide information. And that's it. This is not a game for me. And it's not an ego trip. Okay. So what is up for next year? So many things. First off, the next book, which is in pre-release right now, is Devils, Demons, and Ghosts in the Hebrew Tradition, Romancing the Sitra Ahra. This will be out in a few weeks. This is by far the most comprehensive book on the topic that I have written. It will contain extensive history and rituals as well as meditations. The text will contain original language from the Aramaic and the Hebrew, no rehashed and regurgitated information or poor translations. You will get information here that you will not find anywhere else in one place. In addition, I intend to release a few courses that I feel that you will find very interesting. If you wanted to see what is upcoming, you can go to occultcourses.com. Anyway, enough of the self-promotion, which is something that I don't do very well. I'm actually pretty horrible at it. <laughs> I want to thank Chawan for having me on her Witches and Wine podcast, and Dan Updike for having me on The Damned podcast. I am truly thankful to you both for hosting me, and thank you for tolerating my circuitous ramblings. <laughs> so, what is the intention for this year? What is your intention? Mine, again, is to get to know more of you. I also want to work with some of you in bringing a healing atmosphere to the occult community. There is a lot of healing that needs to be done. The root of the evil in this community, so to speak, is the factionalism that we have. We need to get rid of that. We need to dream bigger, because after all, we are on a parallel path. My challenge for you is this. For those who are on the left-hand path, reach out to the right-hand path. For those on the right-hand path, reach out to those on the left-hand path. No judgment, just observe that no matter what you associate with, you are on a parallel path. We aren't the Abrahamic religions in which condemnation and judgment is the rule. We are occultists. We left that behind. We are brothers and sisters in the occult, dark or light, we are two sides of the same coin. We can't run away from one another. We can't be without one another. Let's work together. Are you up for that challenge? Happy New Year, everyone. So mote it be.